What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks. August merch sales updates. I'm gonna go through the numbers, where I'm at so far, what's going on. Also a little bit about the content policy again. I know I made a you know a video just for that, but there has been an update since then. Um, a little bit about some merch news, maybe some questions that some people have asked me. So we have a lot of things to get to. Um, let's start off with the sales. So here we go. Here is the browser. Let me update for you guys. So right now, uh, 2,317 products live out of 8,000. It's going to take a while uh, to fill up that point. But uh, I really don't know what's the tier up after 8,000. But like I said, it's going to take a while. Uh, the sales right now, uh, 202. Yesterday was a weird day. Um, today's the 29th of September. Yesterday was like super slow on some of the sales. I think I had like one sale for like... Uh, the whole morning going into the afternoon, which usually at that point I'm at like seven, eight, nine range. Uh, on Amazon forums, some people said the same thing that they had like a slow selling day, but then today I've already had like 16 sales and it's uh, what 12, 17 around lunchtime. So I don't know, slow day, a slow day, now a fast day. So the sales are a little bit lower. Usually I'm like at 230 to 250 range for the week and. Uh, estimated royalties are usually around 14, 13 to 1400 uh, for the week, and they've been kind of like that for honestly like the last four or five months or so. Um, going into the numbers, this was my check. I actually got paid today because it's the 29th, uh, $5,056.17 for the month of August. And to see where they've gone through, so they went up March to April, went up a lot in May. And then went up around 160 bucks from there. Then we went down, and then we went down again. So I am kind of far away from my 10 grand a month goal, which was what I originally wanted. I talked about that more in the May and June range. And competition is getting a lot higher. A lot of people are getting tiered up. A lot of people are getting accepted. I need to crank out more designs if they want to get to that point and and look into also some marketing type things. Maybe not necessarily like paid Facebook ads, but I think Instagram is a great place uh, to show some of the shirts you have for sale and try to get some more people involved and see what you're doing. Get some eyes, some views on your shirts. So. Uh, $5,056.17 is what I earned for August. As far as the design goes, we I think the last time I showed you, I bumped that up. I was up 532 designs for that month. So I went up and then I was around this range, the 5,600 range. And then I recently deleted 342 designs. So right now I'm at 2317, which I just showed you guys. Um, that's where I'm at right now. We're going to talk about what happened uh, editing and and uh, deleting designs and why I did so. So the reason why I did this was because of the content policy and uh, I have the description. Uh, I have the link in the description below if you want to check out that video. I talk about the content policy, what they updated, and what you need to know. So with my case, I didn't have any infringing content or keyword stuff in, none of that stuff. It was about the Prime shipping. I didn't have the word Amazon or Amazon Prime shipping uh, available or anything like that, but I did have like Prime eligible or something like that in my listing, at least in most of them. So I went through all of them, even the ones that didn't have it, just to make sure I was safe from all of this stuff. And I had to edit at least uh, 20, like 2200 designs or 2100 designs. It took, let me go back, about 18 hours to edit all of these shirts. And it's better now than never because I didn't want to, you know, you don't want to go through and edit all these designs that are on. We have like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 designs. You don't want to go through that. So I just wanted to stay safe. And the reason why I also want to talk about this is because they finally answered one of the questions on um, the Amazon seller forums. So someone had mentioned, you know, the content policy now states that we shouldn't mention where shirts are manufactured in the bullets. I understand the reasoning, however, a lot of us have already written in the bullets as imported cotton and printed in the USA. Do we need to revise our listings and remove these terms? If so, could you please give us a reason about a time? 
Um, of course, we know that we need to remove these terms. We can leave them out going forward, but with hundreds and some with thousands, like me, of shirts, uh, shirt listings, it will take a very long time and a great deal of work to make these corrections. So uh, someone from Amazon responded. You can tag them, I think, on posts. And I think it took um, kind of a while that they <laughs> finally responded, but they pretty much just responded with their content policy, which is you're responsible for reviewing the policy and making changes to your listings. All listings need to comply with our policies and the Merch by Amazon Services Agreement. So they didn't tell you how long they're going to give you to make these changes or anything like that. They're pretty much telling you this is a new policy. You have to make the changes. That's exactly what I did. I didn't want to leave any of this stuff up in the air. So I was like, you know what? Let me make these changes now and make sure I'm safe. But also goes to show you that they could change any of this stuff at any time. And you have to make sure you're well aware of the content policies and make those changes. Maybe... Later on, they will have an easier way to edit shirts. Not too sure, but uh, it does take a while to edit um, a lot of the keywords or titles or some of that stuff. So it did take me, like I said, 18 hours to do that. So I did like three or four hours a day all last week. I didn't add any new shirts. I was all about just making sure my shirts were uh, um, complying with their new policy. And I definitely recommend for you guys to go through your shirts if you... Um, just double check to make sure you don't have any one of these uh, like references to any of this stuff. You want to stay safe. Make sure your uh, account is 100% and not uh, risking anything. So now going into the numbers, um, so far January through August, this is just this year alone, I have profited over $32,000. And... I guess the only thing that it's that's different, I guess, for me and some other people is that I haven't invested any money because I have been doing the designs myself and spending the time, only time and not money into this. So I have profited over 32000 and there's a lot of things on this slide, a lot of things I want to go through, but I, hopefully it can be a little bit motivational. And I put this on here because here I am, my name, the year 2011, uh, the state of Texas and where I worked. There was my title and there was my compensation for the year. This is before taxes, by the way. I was making less than 30000 um, in 2011 after I got my degree. And I was doing that for, um, uh, I worked there for about a good six years. But I think with this compensation, I got a little raises here and there um, for about a good three years or so. So it wasn't really until... Uh, 2013 range 2014 range where I started making more money but just to show you guys it's just a huge deal for me to make um, the 32,000 range because that beat my compensation uh, when I worked full-time uh, in 2011 so if there's any motivation you need here it is because I was there struggling with the loans and um, you know working for the one check a month and it was less than this because, like I said, this was before taxes. So um, there you go. Just wanted to show you guys that I beat my compensation for 2011. My goal now is to get $50,000 this year in profit. Not in sales, actual profit. And what I need to do is September, it should be, um, that payout should be around this range. They've been pretty consistent for the last three or four months around that same five thousand dollar range so that's what i'm kind of looking at but the next three months october november december i need to get over forty three hundred dollars in order to make my fifty thousand dollar profit for the year and uh i am getting married next month so you know i don't know how many shirts i'm going to be adding in i am going to have to, i am going on a honeymoon so that's going to also take place where i'm probably not going to do anything for a good week and then, of course, uh, Christmas, all that stuff in December. So everything's happening all at once the next three months. But I really need to make sure my numbers are up and that I could reach that goal. So it'd be pretty awesome if I get to that point. But one one of the things I wanted to show you guys. Sorry, this thing's crazy. Let me, where am I? Let me go up a little bit. Is uh, five tips to win on merch. Let me get this out of the way a little bit. So what I want to talk about is I've had a lot of questions on what, I need, what do I need to know 
um, in order to do well. And this is, you know, content policy, all, the, all that stuff changes, keywords and everything like that. But I can tell you, as long as you do these five things, you will do well. Number one, your idea or niche. What are you going for? Um, is there some traffic or popularity in that idea or niche? Or maybe it's something funny. Maybe you're targeting certain things like uh, sports or uh, music or something uh, just depends what the niche is make sure it's a good idea a good niche if it's a clever idea you're trying to go for something funny I don't know hopefully it's something that someone uh, is into and they also think it's funny and something they want to buy the design is it simple bold clean design that some someone would want is it overcrowded with stuff you don't really know what it means is it hard to see on different t-shirts when, when they print it you know design is a huge part of this keywords and title do you only have like a couple of keywords like a sports shirt fishing shirt or do you have just different keywords that maybe people would be into so you know uh, when you're talking about fishing I don't know bass um, boating water different things I don't know cuz I'm not a really a huge fishing guy but just different things to add on to the keywords and the title and of course we learned a little bit more about the keywords and what we can and cannot do so staying away from those things and make sure it's still optimized to bring in some sales the price is it too high is it too low I noticed that some of them are like 1099 1199 sometimes people are thinking well if it's kinda too low maybe it's cheaply made maybe it's um, maybe the design is a copycat of somebody else's if it's priced too high maybe people won't want to buy it price uh, matters on there like they said in the webinar the average price is around 18.99 19.99 that seems to be the average right now it's something to probably kind of go with and number five traffic uh, are you doing anything to bring traffic to your shirts Instagram Pinterest Facebook things like that I think that's a bonus because I haven't really had to do any of that stuff right now because I'm doing the numbers game but down the road might be something um, I'm gonna have to look into so these five things I think are are really good tips and things to follow all right so let's go to the next slide some of the merch news and updates why are my totals short I've seen this question not only asked to me through uh, email but also seen them on the forums um, and so this is straight from Amazon when a sale is recognized Amazon does not recognize a sale until the item is shipped to the end customer so even though your sale um, your shirt sold you're not gonna instantly get that money you have to wait until they actually sh actually ship out so you may not see that total onto your next uh, check for the following month so uh, just in case it is a little bit shorter you might see or might notice maybe 50 bucks 80 bucks hundred dollars short or something um, then maybe what you expected and that's uh, really the reason why so not until the item is shipped the next one lots of hyphens I've noticed a lot of new shirts that have gone through the policy with these hyphens in there so my Emmy dolphins or B Yan say so they're finding their ways to get around the system don't be one of these people you're gonna get caught and the shirts gonna get taken down maybe your accounts are gonna get suspended you just don't want to go through any of this stuff because you're finding your ways around it one of them is one of the top rated or selling shirts right now ghost movie shirt so this is like a Ghostbuster the, the shirt has a Ghostbusters logo uh, on the shirt and I think it's like 13 or 14 15 dollars it's not priced super high but they do have ghost movie shirt uh, even though in their uh, bullet points they had like stay puff marshmallow man and some other keywords that um, are copyrighted or trademarked but their main title does not have Ghostbusters in it it's just the actual design so um, that one found its way around the system and some people might be able to do that but I definitely don't recommend doing something like that uh, you're gonna get caught you're gonna get in trouble and so will these people too right now they haven't been caught but down the road it will happen who knows what's gonna happen with like termination or getting those shirts uh, off or anything like that but it's a growing platform these things will happen right now things um, are kind of crazy because people are still getting away with this stuff but uh, it will get taken down trust me all right so Last but not least, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Merch Minds podcast. So me and Yang, um, we have started this podcast. We're going to talk about merch. It's going to happen right now every two weeks or so. 
and we want to get some feedback from you guys. It's the first time I've ever done a podcast, so you can uh, I don't know, let me know in the email if you want to email me, hustlerhacks1 uh, at gmail.com. That's the number one. But you can let me know, or even you can put something on there that, hey, uh, they sound kind of bad. <laughs> hey, they're boring. Hey, anything like that. But any feedback, at least I can improve and try to um, you know make a better podcast. So we started off right now. We have two episodes. Young's editing the third one right now, but we're going to have some guest interviews and if you're interested in being part of the show that you feel like you can help other people out there on merch, definitely contact me. Um, I'll have the email again. You guys can see it later on in this video. But you can contact me if you want to be on the show. Because one thing I think is that we can learn from each other. Uh, if you're selling a lot, if you're selling a little bit, maybe you're still learning. What are the things that are working for you? So we're going to have different guests from different ranges. Starters, intermediate um, people that are just dominating right now. So like I said, I might be contacting you soon. Maybe Yang will be contacting you. If you want to contact us, you're interested in being into the show. Awesome. The very first episode, we're just talking about where we're at as far as like sales go. Um, I talk a little bit of, um, I guess my whole story from sales where I started the same thing with Yang. Episode number two, we talk about getting ideas um, through social media and other places, even going to like stores and you see different mugs and stuff like at Ross or Marshall's, even seeing people at the mall with different shirts, going through Pinterest and Instagram, things like that. We talk about getting better ideas so that you're not, you know, wondering what to make shirts out of. So that's that's a good 50 minute long uh, podcast episode. Number three is pretty interesting because we do talk about the content policy. Yang has a crazy story for that one. Episode three is pretty cool. So tips and hints, merch news, personal uh, merch growth within within our accounts and our businesses. We talk about that. So if you're interested, iTunes, subscribe now. And like I said, leave us some feedback. Um through uh hustler hacks on facebook you can email me let me know if it sucks if i can improve if you like it stuff like that so we can just keep on uh growing that podcast all right so like i said you can contact me hustler hacks the number one at gmail.com anything about the podcast any questions about merch uh if you want some advice or just questions in general i'll be happy to answer you as soon as i can hustler hacks here on youtube and then Hustler Hacks on Instagram. And I still do have shirt design packages available if you're interested in me designing a shirt for you. But you will have to give me the ideas. And, um, you know, just different, like, packages of, like, 10, 20, 25. If you're interested in me designing a shirt for you, I can do that. Email me. Here we go. HustlerHacks1 at gmail.com. So thanks, guys, for watching this video. Uh, take a look at the podcast, uh, take a look at your content policy and make sure all your shirts are in that range and, and you're good. You're not going to get, um, you know, booted off Amazon or anything like that. So thanks guys for watching. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. You guys already know, go out and get it.